Oh, oh, what's this? What? Whoa, what's he gonna do? Whoa, it's a secret compartment. I'm back in NYC and it feels good, baby. Yep, I'm here at Terminal 2 and I'm going to just take the air train. So, yeah. Oh, I have to wait for my bag. And it's a, I did a check bag and it's a very ugly bag. So I'm waiting for a very ugly bag. Oh, I see it. Do you see an ugly bag? See if you can pick out the ugly bag. That's right, that's the ugly bag. I like to choose ugly bags so I can easily recognize them and they are not mistakable for somebody else's bag because it is ugly. Anyway, now that we've got it, on to the air train. Now this will turn out to be a little tutorial for the air train sort of, I guess. So you can't really see, it says ground transportation. The air train's a little quirky. Like you have to go outside at most of the terminals to get to the air train, but you can see the signs now, air train. So, the arrows is pretty well indicated where to go. So that's where we're going. We gotta cross the street. Like I said, a little quirky because a lot of um, a lot of a lot of terminal uh, transportations between terminals and airports they connect directly to the terminal. The air train, not so much. Very incon. I mean, it's convenient and inconvenient at the same time, and it also is overpriced. I've complained about that before. I will complain about it again. Anyway, so you got to come over here. It's re it seems like it's really just catering to parking here at Terminal Two. But what do you know? What do you know? I think at Terminal Four, it connects to the terminal. But I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure it does. Anyway, so we're going up. Take the air train from here. Got to just oh, the elevator left without me. The people who came in before me took it. All right, that's cool. I'll come in here. Maybe I'll get an elevator to myself. It doesn't really matter. I don't do don't do elevator dances. Don't do empty elevator dances. Don't even have a chance. Even if I wanted to, there's people in it, so it's not empty. But that's okay. There is the there's the giant springs that stop the elevator and bounce it back up. I guess if it falls accidentally. There's the elevator itself. Hey guy. And uh, there's the top of the elevator. Just in case you are an elevator person and like elevators and like hearing me say the word elevator. Anyway, so we're at the platform for the air train. Port Authority of New York and New Jersey does not like me to record, but, you know, I don't like that they raised the price of the air train to $8, so we're even. So here on this side, you can see where it says it alternates between trains that go to Jamaica Station and trains that go to Howard Beach. So these actually leave, they actually connect, those two trains actually connect to the MTA subway. Federal law requires wearing a mask at all times while at the airport. Failure to comply with this requirement may result in the denial of portable aircraft, removal from the airport, and civil penalties. Alright, removal from the airport. Well, good thing I'm wearing Are a mask. Heavy, large or multiple pieces of luggage? Yes. Do not ride the escalator. Walk what? Walk to the end of the platform. The next train arriving... Walk to... Okay. Is Take the elevator. There we go. Five. Here it comes. Okay, so on the opposite opposite side of the platform here, that air train, not this one, the other one on the other platform, other side of the platform, that one goes to all the terminals, just circles around the terminals. But we're going actually to connect to the MTA A train, as I said. Seven and eight. Please stand clear. The doors are closing. Please hold on. We would mm. like to remind all passengers that you must wear a face covering while riding this train. This is a Howard Beach train. Stopping at airline terminals for five, seven, and eight. Federal Circle, Lufford Boulevard, and Howard Beach. As you might have guessed, I flew in from Boston to uh, to New York City via Delta Airlines. I like Delta. They're all right. We are arriving at Terminal 4. Ter Easy Terminal 4. I, again, I'm pretty sure this one connects to... I don't know. I seem to remember it connects to the, the actual terminal. But I don't know for sure. Oh, oh, what's this? What? Whoa, what's he going to do? 
Whoa, it's a secret compartment. What's he doing there? Resetting something? Oh, I, oh, I shouldn't be going. Oh, oh, I didn't do anything. Nope, nope. I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. <laughs> All right, well, that was interesting. Got to, got to see what was in that little uh, box there. Some sort of controls. Clue me in at the bottom. What did he just do? Like, he reset something. He turned off the windshield wiper. No, they weren't on. I don't know. Probably something simple. This train on track one is the Howard Beach train, stopping at airline terminal seven and eight. I hope he didn't press the self-destruct button. <laughs> Please stand clear. The doors are closing. Please hold on. We would like to remind all passengers that you must wear a face covering while riding your train. Okay, I'm wearing a face covering, Mr. Automated Voice. This is the Howard Beach train, stopping at airline terminal seven and eight. Federal Circle, Lefferts Boulevard, and Howard Beach. Automatedly stopping. No, wait, there's no driver to this train. Just a two-car train, automated, fully automated. Please take your belonging. Wait, did he just say belonging? He didn't say belonging, because I didn't hear the S. Howard Beach train, stopping at airline terminal 8. Okay. Just, okay, 8's the last terminal, then we got three more stops after that. doors are closing. Please hold on. We would like to remind all passengers that you must wear a face covering while riding a train. Okay, well I am wearing a face covering still, I didn't this change. This is the Howard Beach train, stopping at airline terminal 8, Federal Circle, Leopard Boulevard, and Howard Beach. Anyway, on we go to terminal 8. I think that's where American Airlines is. Man, I am not a... Uh, was that a single car? Was that a single car air train? Also... There's a lot of steam coming out of this, uh, those vents. Wow, crazy. All right, we so terminal, terminal eight. eight. Please take your belonging. This train on track one is a Howard Beach train. Yes, it is. Thank you. <laughs> Please stand clear. Felt like he had more to say. Hold on. Yes, yes, I've we heard all like this before. All passengers that you must wear a face covering while riding air train. Anyway, if you've never taken the air train, this is what this it's is like. Howard Beach train, stopping at Federal Circle for hotel shuttle and rental cars, Leopard Boulevard and Howard Beach for long-term parking, as well as connections to the A train. Attention passengers. Each one-way air train ride costs eight dollars. Oh. You can purchase a metro card at either Jamaica or Howard Beach station. Thank you for riding air train. Not only do they cost eight dollars to ride the air train from Jamaica or, or Howard Beach. By the way, I have to pay when I go out at Jamaica and in. They don't charge you to go through, go around on the terminal, so that's something at least. But, uh, yeah, I didn't need to remember. Thanks for reminding me that it costs too much money to ride this automated train. We are arriving at Federal Circle for hotel shuttles and rental cars. Please take your belongings. This is the Howard Beach train, stopping at Lufford Boulevard and Howard Beach for long-term parking, as well as connections to the A train. Yep. A train. I don't think I'm going to record the A train. This too train much luggage. This train the Howard Beach train. I'm just going to just sort of... Record the air train the rest Please of the way. Stand clear. The doors are closing. Breaking the rules. Please hold on. We would like to remind all passengers that you must wear a face covering while riding air train. Breaking the rules, Penny Nudge. What you gonna do about it? This is the Howard Beach train, stopping at Leopard Boulevard and Howard Beach for long-term parking, as well as connections to the A train. Attention, passengers. Each one-way air train ride costs eight dollars. <sighs> Thank you. Oh yeah, and they don't use Omni either. Come on. Uh, can't even tap. It's only MetroCard. Anyway, uh, I was just kidding. You, hey, you know, there goes a pair train. I was just kidding. You really shouldn't break the rules. Um, I've just never had any issues with somebody telling me to stop recording on the air train. Boy on path, if they see you even think about pointing a camera anywhere, a single car, it's like a spare. They even see see you on the path with like what looks like a camera. They're like, ah, ah put it down, put it down. And I'm like, okay. Please take your belongings. This is the Howard Beach train stopping at Howard Beach for long-term parking with connections to the A train. But I look inconspicuous because I also have this luggage. Train on track two is the 
the beach train. All right, all right. So this is not it. We got one more stop, I believe. Is that? Yeah. This is long-term parking. The doors are closing. Right? We already passed Federal Circle. We would like to remind all passengers that you must wear a face covering while riding in a train. Okay. Thank you for reminding me. This is the Howard Beach train stopping at Howard Beach for long-term parking, as well as connections to the A train. Oh, it sounded like you had to think about it then. As well as connections to the... We are Check notes. A train. For long-term parking, <laughs> as well as connections to the A train. Yeah, he had to check, had to check his long. notes again. Oh wait, so that was Federal Circle. This is Lefferts for long. No, this is this is Howard Beach. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was that was Lefferts. This is Howard Beach. This is the last stop. Yeah, I don't want to go to JFK Airport. JFK Airport. I don't want to pay another eight dollars. Well, actually, I don't have to. It's only when you exit the system that you have to pay eight dollars. Here, I'll show you. See, there's a air train exit ticketing, which I find strange. It's like you get to pay to enter New York to go to the MTA. So. The thing is, here's the thing, here's the, uh, you gotta, you have to buy a Metro card. You can't tap through. Now you can, I'm going to buy a Metro card with both an MTA fare and a, uh, air train fare. So you can click get new card if you want to pay an extra dollar. I have a card, so I'm going to touch refill card and just put my card in. Yeah, if I can get it out of here on my wallet, there we go. Okay, so it says insert card, I'm just going to put it in face up with the hole in, put it in there. So add value, and it gives me the option, see $8 for just the air train exit, but I'm gonna choose 1075 for both the air train and the, uh, I don't have my Omni card with me, so I'm gonna choose the air train and the MT and the uh, subway fare all at once. And it, you know, you put your credit card in where it was, and then you take this, uh, take the card out, and then you put it in the same way with the hole down and the Metro card facing toward you, and boom! Now I've successfully paid for exiting the $8 air train and entering the MTA system. So, I hope that was helpful for a tutorial. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe. There are some more episodes coming up. I hope to get back to where to now, now that I'm back in NYC.